one, we're going to play a game Minesweeper. So let me go to this top. Come on. Okay, out of the top and hit Projects. And we just did a couple of simple ones. Now we're going to hack Minesweeper. Okay. Minesweeper is a game that came with Windows XP, and we're going to take a modified version of Minesweeper that I made here, because I just used the techniques in this course to modify the Minesweeper binary. And you have to have Python 2.7, uh, which is an old version of Python, but it's the one we're using, and it's the one quite a lot of our tools using. Python 3 is the new version, but a lot of tools have not updated to that, and I have not updated this project to it either. So when you download that Minesweeper and run it, and I've, of course, already got it on here somewhere. There it is, MindSam. Um, all right, if you run MindSam, the window is a little bit missized on server 2016, but other than that, it works. And so you can guess where the mines are, and when you click things, then you see the number of cells, number of mines near this cell, and you can use logic to find the mines, but we're going to cheat to find the mines. So that's what the game is. So now let's play it in Ollie Debug. So I start Ollie and maximize it. And uh, I'm just looking. I guess this will be fine. Now I'm going to open MindSam, MindSam. OK, so now it's paused like it always does. So I run it once to move from 64-bit to 32-bit. And it pauses again. And now I run it again. And now the game pops up. And now if I click a cell, some of these clear up. So now I would like to find the memory that shows me where the mines are. And that is pretty easy to find. Um, you can find it by looking at the memory map. So you view memory, and it will show you the memory map for this process. And here are the regions of memory reserved for this process. These are libraries and stuff. You see there's four of them. There's the header, data, resources, and code. The text section contains the code. And what we want is the data. So you right-click on the data, and you dump it. And it gives you a nice dump out of the contents in the data. And now, the memory near 1005, 340 is what's going to contain what we want. This is 1050, so I have to go down a couple pages. And here's 340. And you see, by the way, you can already see how this is going to work. Let me bring my, there it is. So there's the game. And you see there's a bunch of cells that are empty. And then there is a 1. 41 is the 1. And here's the other 41. And here's the 41, 42, 43. That's this 1, 2, 3. So the numbers show up as 41. The mines are, I think, these 8Fs. Um, yep, an A is for 1 and a B is 2. And um, the mines, well, I know there's a mine right there to the right of this 1. So 8Fs, the 8Fs are the mines. So I can see where the mines are. So I could try to cheat here, but it's not very friendly because it's two rows of text for every line of the game and so on. So I just want to use a Python program to make a better cheating tool. Now that I've found the memory that does it. And in order to do that, I need to dump this memory in a way I can read it. And that's what this tool does, proc dump from Windows. It's a Windows tool. You can get it from Microsoft. And proc dump will dump the contents. Proc dump minus ma mindsam.exe will dump it into a file called mine. This Python script will look for the mark, which is the start of this board, 0 and then a bunch of 10s and then an F. And then it will read them and print it out with just the right carriage returns. That's all this does. So this Python code will cheat at Minesweeper. So I'm going to quit Ollie and quit Minesweeper, if I can figure out how. Control-C. All right. I don't need Ollie anymore. Good. OK, various errors are occurring, but I don't care about that. All right. And now I should be able to run this code. And I put it in a folder called, I think, I put it in the folder where Procdump is. 
So if I cd to proc dump and then dir, yeah, here's my program called cheat.py, which you can start with my program here. So if you run that, you got to install Python too, but the, that's in the project telling you how to do that. Cheat.py. Oh, I got to be running the game first. So let me launch the game, which is downloads, mindsham, mindsham. Okay, now I'm running the game. Now I run cheat. Okay, there is where the mines are. So now I can totally cheat at this game. There are no mines in the first row except way over on the right. So I know that there's nothing here. Uh, I know there's nothing here. Then there's two mines. And then there's no more mines all the way down. And so you can pretty quickly solve the game by cheating with this. So there's just a few challenges for you to do extending this. So using that one, you can cheat and find a flag. And then you can cheat. There's two more levels, intermediate and advanced. The intermediate is a bigger board, and you will have to modify the program to lay out the memory in a useful way to cheat for the bigger board. And for the largest one, you will have to cheat another way. Doing it this way will not work because I set the time limit so you don't have enough time to solve it. And even with cheating, you won't have enough time to solve it. So you're going to have to try a totally different technique. But in all cases, I modified the program to limit the time and to put flags in here, as your secret word is here. When you win with the fastest time, it'll tell you a secret word. And when you win this one, you'll get another secret word. And there's also a secret word for the advanced, the expert level, but I don't think there's any way to get there by playing the game. You're going to have to find it another way. So anyway, I think this whole thing is extra credit, but there you go. That's another fun bit of practice reverse engineering Windows games. I'm going to stop this one.